Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play the game Minecraft. We will have an unusual task for today because we will have to survive on the whole on one gull, which is all at our disposal. There is nothing around it, and we need to take resources only from this chanka, and there are no more resources to reach, for example. Hi, hi! Oh my god! Finally we'll be playing Minecraft! Today we have a very wonderful task, which I really like. Because on one gull, it is very interesting to survive, especially because there are no malicious mobs. It is also much easier than on one block because it is not clear what resources are losing. And here there is a whole chunk from the ordinary world of Minecraft. Hello, I'm so glad you and I are here for this wonderful game. In addition to the fact that we will have to survive on a whole one of the gunks, which we will no longer have enough, we will need to give birth to children and create comfortable living conditions for them to be born and to have good living conditions immediately. Don't let them work with us to achieve that goal. Hello, subscribers. Hello, Pony. Guys, we have all understood our tasks to date, and now I propose to not linger much longer and to begin at last to extract the first resources. I'm very interested in what we have here, and we need to gather as many resources as possible so they don't go to waste. Though where could they possibly go from that one, Gull? So, it is necessary to start with the cutting of wood, which is available on this chanka. There are three trees that we can cut down, and we have to get all the seedlings that fall out of them, because we're going to replant them to grow new trees, and we're going to cut them down too. After all, this is the only source of wood on this chanka, and we should try to keep it and not lose it. And now, I'm gonna get some sand from the lakes that we've got! We're gonna need him for survival, because we're gonna need something to drink, and we're gonna have nothing to drink from the lake, and we're gonna have to make bottles that we're going to boil in the oven and get clean water that we're going to drink. Just like the glass that will come out of the sand, we will make windows. I will now remove all vegetation from the top of our piece of the world Minecraft. This is what we need first to have a place to build the first house, which we will soon begin to build, as well as to extract wheat seeds, which we will use in our first garden, which we will have to build. What I'm doing now solves two things at once that you cannot do. And now I'm going to do, of course, the most important thing in our survival after wood. We need to make the original mine, where we will mine the rock, as well as all sorts of other ore. After all, we have no mines here, and you need to dig a cave yourself to extract at least a little bit of rock that will be used for crafting in the first place furnace. Then we will make tools from the rock, as well as some buildings. We're about to start building our first house. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the dimensions of our house and we're going to start by connecting the first beams on top. I will do all this and the rest will help me. It is very cool when we work together because it saves a lot of time. We will make a big house in advance so that we have plenty of space at once in case we immediately have children and there will be no room in the house. All right. Well, I'll help out a little Fluttershy. While she's doing the top joints and the posts, I'll be connecting these posts from the bottom, and I'll also do the ceiling. Of course, I will also make a doorway so that you can immediately understand which side we will have an entrance. I already really like how our house turns out because it is very beautiful and big. And I am beginning to build a floor. More precisely to dig up all the land that is on the floor. Here it is very much and thank God we made a stone shovel. And now I will quickly cope with my task and easily go mining all this land. The most important thing is not to throw it anywhere because the land can be very useful to us in the future. I'm about to finish the floor. Very cool that we decided to make a wooden floor instead of ordinary ground because this floor looks very beautiful and also keeps warm in the house because the tree is much warmer than ordinary and cold ground. So we've almost built our first house and we need to hurry up because we still have a lot to do before our children are born. Here we go to the inside of our house. 
The first thing we need to do is to make window frames and of course walls in our house so that it looks not so spacious. And there are places where you can hang paintings or just put benches so that they were not visible. In addition to window frames, I will now immediately insert the windows so as not to linger at this stage. My task remains the simplest because I just need to arrange everything in our house. We will definitely need chests, workbench, and oven, as well as four beds on which we will sleep. And in principle, it will be possible to say that our house is ready and you can live here in peace. But I think that with children, we will have very little space. Now we're going to do something that we're going to need to survive. We need to make a vegetable garden, and for that, I will now dig enough land to have plenty of space, as well as a lot of land to build this garden. The most important thing is not to fall down because it is very close to the cliff. You need to be very careful. Right now, I'll do our garden with Pinkie Pie. We're going to have to make it very big, so it's going to be long for the whole piece of the world we got. We have enough wheat seeds, so it is best that we do not regret the place for the garden, so that we have an initial meal, which we will eat for the entire initial survival. Building a garden garden is very cool, especially when you help Pinkie Pie. Yes, I'm going to help Fluttershy by plowing the ground and planting wheat seeds right away. This is going to be a pretty smooth operation, and we're going to quickly manage this garden that we decided to build. The most important thing is to check it more often so that nothing happens here and we can quietly eat the bread that will give us this vegetable garden. Now we are going to replenish our resources, which we will need in the future. Especially wood, which we already have very little and we need to make it as much as possible and plant more seedlings so that we can grow as many trees as possible overnight. I think that in the future it will be necessary to make a farm tree so that the tree was never in the heart. Okay, well, I'm going to be digging for a rock because there's not enough of it for anything and we have to get it because it's probably going to expand our island and we're going to build things because there's so much more of it than we have so little land. It's a good thing we were able to dig up this cave and now we can come and extract resources all the time. And I need to get a lot of land for our garden and I need to use this land as an auxiliary block. After all, there is nothing to do here without a creative regime, so the Earth will save us in this. It is also possible that when we expand our part of the world, we will use the land and the boulder to create a large area. With enough resources, we decided to make a small warehouse under our house. Because we're going to have a lot of resources very soon, and we're not going to have one small trunk to store all the stuff in, so we need to make a very large warehouse where we're going to put the trunks and store all the stuff we can get. Better to store them all than just throw them away. Pinkie Pie has made a certain depth on which we should have a basement, so now we are beginning to build the basement itself. But first, we need to get the boulder, which is here, because there is a lot of it, and it is very much in our way. In addition to digging a place for the basement, we will also get more stone for further construction. I'm going to help my friend Rainbow Dash and get a bigger rock. Then we can stack all this rock right off the chests that are going to be there. Just immediately, we need this warehouse, and we do it for a reason. The main thing is not to forget to put things here and not to throw them anywhere. I'm really glad we decided to build it, because I already have a lot of garbage in my inventory. Now, I think we're going to have to expand a little bit of our storage space because that's a little space. I mean, the chests are going to fit in here, but we need more space to get more trunks and we never have to redo it again. The pickaxe is breaking slowly, so we are digging all this rock for a reason. From it, we will make new tools. Okay, it's time for us to do the interior in our basement. First of all, we need to make a staircase that will make it easy to go down and climb to the basement. Although we already have a staircase that leads to the cave, we will still make a second staircase for convenience. It is also necessary to light all this room with torches, because in the dark can appear malicious mobs. And of course, you need to start placing all the double chests in the basement, because that is why we built it. And now, 
Fluttershy has asked us all to decorate our house so it doesn't look like a normal box. It must be very beautiful for us to be comfortable in it, as well as our children. I'm about to make a hatch for our windows that will give the volume of our windows and they won't look like glass. It turns out very beautiful. For decoration of the house should be not only beautiful elements, but also very useful. So now I'm going to make a roof that looks like a pyramid. This will be done especially so that all the water that falls from the sky flows from this roof to the ground, not to us in the house. For if we had a straight roof, the water would have accumulated from above and pass through the wood. Okay, well I'm gonna do the usual decor of our house, which is create the volume of our windows. I will make them window sills from the outside to put on them, for example, pots of flowers, and it would be very beautiful. Also, it really looks very beautiful, and with the hatches that Rainbow Dash makes it look very cool. I'm glad we came up with this. Well, I do think a lot of useful and very beautiful thing around our house. I'm laying out all the leaves I've got from the trees, and we're going to need it very much to survive, because it will give us more oxygen, and we will live better here. Oxygen also increases the motivation to do something, so we will be able to do it in time. Now we go to the iron ore cave. Still, we will need iron very much in the future, as this is the next ore we need to get after the rock. Right in the vault we found the other day, we found iron ore, and now we need to get at least three blocks to make a bucket. And why we need it, we will tell a little later. Just a few minutes have passed, and we have already extracted five pieces of iron ore blocks, which we immediately send for melting. To start melting in the furnace, we need to put the fuel in the wood and start melting. It'll only be five bars. But the most important thing is that we can make a bucket in which we pour water first, and then lava. Why are we doing this? Write your guess in the comments. But now we need to start expanding our territory because it is already becoming very small and we need to build a lot more in case we even have to expand our house and we won't have enough space. That is just the fact that we have accumulated enough resources that we had, and now we will try to spend as little as possible, but make the territory as much as possible. I will help Fluttershy make the expansion of the territory, because it is very important for us all, and we need to save forces for the further expansion we want to do. After all, it will take a lot of effort, so you need to work as little as possible for everyone but work strictly in turn so that there is time to rest as well as to restore their strength. Coordinated work is good, but better work is the one that will work effectively if you rest more. Now, it's time to tell you why we need buckets if someone hasn't already. We're going to take lava water, and we're going to make a bucket of water, and we're going to make an endless source of rock. Because if you combine lava with water, you can either have a rock or an obsidian. And I know a technique to make it just be a rock that we need to expand our territory. We've got a very good walkway right to our house from this rift that has so many resources. The most important thing is that we did it all by ourselves, and I'm very proud of us, namely those who helped me build this cave. I'm the one who started digging it, and I'm glad we got it this far. The most important thing is not to accidentally break all these stairs so that we can climb up. Now I'm going to show you how this diagram of the endless rock works, where we're going to mine it. Now we can only mine it here, and we will have a lot of it because it is infinite and can never end. To create it, we need to pour first lava and then water, only we need to make a hole in the floor on the second block of water so that the stone is endless and the lava does not turn into a boulder. Now, we are going to start the construction of the expansion of our territory, a piece of piece. Because we really need the territory for various buildings that we want to do. Just as much space on this piece is much better than one area of 16 by 16 blocks. And we build all this out of a rock on purpose, so that we had all the strong and definitely did not fall. Because we have this rock do not hold anything. 
We need to make an expansion not only on one side, but on all sides, so that we have a lot of space from all sides. Because if we're going to do this, we need to do it all at once, so that we don't have to expand this whole area. And maybe we need to make a fence, so our kids aren't afraid to go out, and we're not afraid of falling out of this place. We are all expanding this, not only for us, but also for future animals who will live with us. After all, there will be a lot of them, and they will be uncomfortable to live in some small pen that we will build for them for the first time. We're gonna let them walk, and they're not gonna get lost and fall, cause we're gonna have a fence that protects everyone from falling out of here. This is of course a very difficult task and very boring, but we must do it so that we have a large area. We'll probably be able to make another house so there's more room for us and our kids. After all, making a regular roof under which children will play it is very hard and spend more time. So we will need to build a whole house. And in the house itself, we will do a lot of entertainment for our children so that they can play not only on the street, but also at home. Because it rains here often, and so that our children do not get wet, we will make for them a small playground in the house itself, so they are not wet and they will always have fun. It's kind of hard to build this when you're pregnant, but this is what we all do for our kids, and try really hard. So, we're already doing a third of the expansion, and we're almost done, and it's really cool! There is already a lot of space on our side of the house, and very soon we will be finished. And we can move on to building the next interesting thing that we will need to survive. We still have to figure out something with the evil mobs because they are not here and we need the resources that fall out of them very much. I just want to get this over with because it's a very boring task for us. I want to build as many things as possible to entertain myself with this. I love to build, but such identical things are very difficult to build and you just want to sit and have a rest from it. But then you don't have to do it all, because now we're doing it all at once. The most important thing is that we spend as little resources as possible from our piece of the world, and we have an endless source of rock. He's the only reason we're doing all of this right now, because if we dig up this whole boulder in our piece of the world, it's just gonna run out, and we might not have enough of what we had, so it was a genius idea to make an endless source of rock which has been very useful to us. Ugh, we only have the last part of the expansion left, and it is very good that we are almost not running out of resources, because we have dug up a lot of rock from our source. You'd be very bored of watching us mine a rock, so we decided to miss this moment, and when we build this expansion, we're actually telling all our plans for this piece of land, and that's really cool. Hooray! Very soon we will all be finished and we'll start building most likely a pen for our animals. The most important thing is that they are here on our piece because they can now appear here when there is a large area. The most important thing is that there are a lot of them so that we can release them and get all sorts of resources that only we can use. Yeah, we're about to finish this construction. We have a very large territory on which we can soon build an entire city where we and our children will live. We might even be lucky to have a zombie resident that we turn into a normal one. And we make a whole village where the villagers live and give us the resources for the emeralds that we'll be buying from them. So, this is the final part that we're going to build now and we're going to start the next tasks that we've planned. The most important thing will be not to distract from our tasks and to do everything according to the plan as we want. Because very soon, our children may be born and we will not have time to do anything before they are born and they will run here and they will be very bored. So let's wrap this up and move on to the next piece of business. Now we will of course proceed to build a corral for our future animals, which we will bring here and will be very fun with them already. The most important thing is to make very neat fences so that they are not very low, because if they are low, animals can jump over them and fall into the abyss and abyss. And we don't need that, so we'll keep an eye on them all. 
Next, we're going to have to break down the entire boulder that's inside this paddock and replace it with the ground because there's going to be grass growing there and the animals are going to be more comfortable on the ordinary ground that they're going to eat. More precisely, they will feed on grass on this land, not the ground itself. Ha ha! We will also constantly feed them their favorite food so that they are not hungry. And I want to make a stack of wheat for our animals to eat even when we're very busy. Now I will collect all the wheat that we have grown and I will make a haystack on the workbench. It is very simple, just need nine pieces of wheat. And then we'll put them in our paddock and then we can bring all the animals in. Now we take and quietly bring every kind of animal into our corral. To attract sheep and cows, you just have to show them wheat and then they'll follow you. With them, there will be no problems. The main thing is not to forget to feed them. To attract chickens, you need to show them wheat seeds, and then they will follow you. Well, to attract pigs, you need to show carrots. Very cool that we found this carrot in a chest in a cave. Okay, now we're moving on to the next thing that's going to be very useful to us for our next survival. We need to make a farm of malicious mobs to extract resources from them. It will be quite a difficult task, but we will try to do it. It is good that we have a lot of rock for this. Now, I have made the basis where mobs will fall and all resources will fall into the chest. This is a very fun scheme because it turns out to be an automatic farm of malicious mobs because they will fall here and immediately die and all the resources will not just be in the air and everyone will accumulate in funnels and from them in a chest. Now we're going to make a very high vertical tunnel where mobs will fall. That's very cool. Now, each of us will make one wall because there is a very high tunnel here. And if one person does it, we will be very tired. And not soon, we will make the entire animal farm. We need to make the walls of this tunnel 25 blocks high so the evil mobs die. If there were 22 blocks, they would fall and they had little health from below. They could be killed themselves and earn extra experience. We won't need much of an experience booty because we don't have an enchantment table yet. And it's very difficult because it requires obsidian and diamonds and we don't own diamonds. So we only have to do the extraction of resources because we need them more. Farm malicious mobs is very profitable because they can fall as well and armor as well as different tools and resources. You've probably seen mobs like this walking around with some weapons or armor. Now, it all falls out of them. So, in addition to the resources that will fall from them, we will earn the same and armor with tools. Sometimes you lose iron from a zombie, and it's very cool because you can also save iron. The most important thing for us will be to get a lot of arrows for the bow, as well as threads from a spider for crafting wool. So we have finished the very first part of our farm of malicious mobs, and now we have to make a retreat of eight blocks from the center so that along this path go malicious mobs and fall to the bottom and crash. It's just a genius building, and I'm glad we decided to build it because it will make life very easy for us. The main thing is to finish it in time. The most important thing is that we do everything together, and we will never be bored because we communicate and can discuss different topics. Right now, we have an important topic about mining resources from malicious mobs. It would be so much cooler to extract all the resources than to risk your life in a cave that we will dig ourselves. There's going to be a lot more resources than just killing them. This is going to be the best evil mob farm I've ever planned. It will be very interesting to build it, and you will be shocked when you learn how it will work. I'll tell you about it a little bit later. But the most important thing now is to do the main part, which will be walking angry mobs. We will have so many resources. We are not wasting time. Here I am doing the last part we need to do. This is a very cool, already getting a farm, and I am very scared here. How could it be even higher? You have to be very careful not to accidentally fall from here. I even wonder how the zombies will understand that it will be necessary to go here and fall so that we collect all the resources from them. Now, we need 
to raise the level of these blocks a little bit so that this is where the zombies are going to roll down and the place above is where they're going to appear. This is a very interesting building and I'm already very interested in how it will be made. I only raised two blocks of all the walls, so subscribers, remember how to build it because we can do exactly the same in your world. That's what we're going to do now is we're going to make a playground for all the evil mobs to sleep on. There will be spiders and skeletons and even creepers that can easily damage our entire building. Also do not forget about zombies and endermen because they are also likely to be here. Endermen is very cool, though scary, because they will fall out of the pearls of the end. We need to do it all from all sides to have more space for spawning. And as they will fall down, I can even tell you now, we are in these openings that are below us will spill water and malicious mobs will fall there and slowly slide down. This is how they will fall into the tunnel and die. The construction is quite easy to use, but difficult in construction. Oh my God, what a difficult task. I want to rest after all this. But we know that very soon our children will be born and we will need to prepare thoroughly for the birth of our children so that they have all the resources for their lives. And we're gonna need resources, so we need to do it right now so we don't have to do it with the kids. Here we are finishing the last part of this building and very soon we will begin to build the whole main part of this building. We will only have to make the ceiling and raise these walls. Finally, we will soon do everything. I am tired of doing it all, but then we'll have a nice vicious mob farm where we'll be saving up all our resources. Further away, we are required a fairly simple task. Compared to the past, we will need to properly pour out all the water we have extracted. The water itself must reach the abyss so that the evil mobs swim on this water and immediately fall into the pit where they die. Everyone will do two of these tasks as well as make walls in this room so as not to get too wrapped up. Next. We will now do the same thing that Twilight Sparkle did. Our farm is already beginning to transform and is more and more like some kind of construction and not just a block of rock that is on our site. However, it is not without reason that we have allocated a place for this farm because we will need it very much in the future and it will not be too much space. But me with Rainbow Dash need to put the hatches over the water. This is specifically designed to allow malicious mobs to exactly fall down here because they think the hatch is a block and it will be impossible to fall through it. But they don't have a mine, so they don't understand that the hatch is open or closed. Now that I know what this farm is all about, I'm ready to build it up and make it work. Yeah, it's a really cool ranch of angry mobs and we're almost done! I'm so glad we're almost done building it and moving on to our big house. I really want to build a house to live in and give birth there. I don't want to have a baby right here unexpectedly and we need to calculate the time to have babies on time. It is very little and now we are beginning to build the ceiling. I wish there was room for an enderman and his pearls, but there are spiders with thread and skeletons with bones. From the bones, we'll be able to make bone meal, which will allow us to grow trees quickly as well as our entire garden. Now I'm sure of our angry mob farm. It's hard enough building the ceiling alone, so we come to each other's aid. Twilight Sparkle can go rest for a while and I will continue to do for her. We are very close friends and do all the work together. Not that someone rests all day and someone builds. We just change in different moments. If someone gets tired and that's it, it's very simple and still effective. I'm really glad we're almost done with this farm, but I'm ready to make a house or something. I mean, this is getting really boring and one of us can do it and the other one will do something else. All right, I'm not gonna do that. But let's get this done right away so we can get right to the next stage of farm construction. The next stage of construction will be the construction of a large pillar that will go to the sky for 80 blocks up. We have to ask Fluttershy why we're doing this. I wonder why we're doing this, because it's kind of pointless. And this pole is just going to go up and be unnecessary in our farm. This is of course very high, and it is not clear why we are building all this. I'm very afraid of heights, and I wouldn't want to fall from here, so I'll be very careful this time. 
Our piece of the world is almost invisible, even though we have expanded it. This is all a game of height, because we are about a hundred plus blocks, and it is very high. Falling from here will be a terrible end, not only for me, but also for my child. We built all this so that here we have a little rest at the height, and at this time in our farm will appear malicious mobs. It depends very much, so you need to make a height of 80 blocks so that the malicious mobs are updated and the farm works very well. If you do higher or lower, the farm will already work badly and there will be very few blocks. It is necessary to equip everything here for a comfortable stay of us all. Now all we have to do is make a ladder to this extension above. Because it is not in flight mode, we will climb there. So I got lots of sticks and I made lots and lots of ladders to make sure we had enough to get to the top. So we have a real farm of angry mobs with which we will receive many resources and valuable things. Now we need to expand our territory a little bit more to make sure there is enough space for all that we have planned. After all, we will soon have to build a fence. So now we will make the place a reserve and it will be possible to start building the fence. We have already built so much in such a short time and it is very cool. Let's hurry up and do something definite. And this joint that we allowed, it was ugly at all. We need to finish each case at once and move on to the next because we have very little time and it will be better to do the same thing together than do different things and do one or two people. We have to do this together and fast. And now we're going to make a little tree farm where we're just going to plant seedlings periodically to grow big trees and we're going to cut them down. Very soon we can even expand it to extract as much wood as possible in a short period of time. The main thing is that it will be much better than just planting in different places seedlings because you will not need to run anywhere. Now we're going to start building our fence, which will protect us from falling as well as all sorts of mobs that can crawl. After all, they will be able to climb to us all over the world and immediately to us. So we will need a fence very much. It will also decorate our entire territory and it will not be like a normal flying platform. The fence is very simple but very expensive. So we have accumulated a lot of wood before we start building it. The evil mob farm works fine. So we've accumulated a lot of bones and made a lot of bone meal. Thanks to this, we got a lot of wood very quickly. One farm helps another and it is very cool. Not for nothing we built it all. So, here's what it is made of. For one part of this fence will require a lot of resources. From this, we need six blocks of logs, ten steps, and five fences. If you combine them all in exactly the way that we are building now, and as you can see, you get a very beautiful fence. I made it up on my own, and I'm glad we've already done so much. Let's not be discouraged, because we have a big house to build. Man, we sure do a lot of building this fence, but it's okay. The most important thing is that we have enough resources to build it. Otherwise, we will have to go and extract all resources again. It would be a shame if we did not have enough resources because we want to make now the whole fence so that we can sit and concentrate completely on the house we want to build. Here, we already make a turn and begin to build the fence. We're already doing the second part and we're doing it very quickly at least much faster than the expansion because we've been doing it a lot longer than this fence. And this fence is even more interesting to do because you need each part to repeat every seven blocks. Otherwise, it will be ugly fence. We are good friends. We have made a whole big house. We have our own garden with the harvest. We also have a large area that we build a fence as well as a pen with animals that we are not bored with. Most importantly, we even have a cave and a farm of malicious mobs on which we have put all the resources that only we had. I'm glad we're so cool and fast. I love building things like this because it takes a little bit of effort and we are the most important thing is on our land, not about 100 blocks up. It was very scary to build there and thank God we came down here. It's calmer here and it's already more familiar because we've been here a long time and I like to spend time here. This is so much more interesting than the real world. 
In the ordinary world, everything is the same, and you run through the infinite world, which is full of many resources that are very easy to find. And surviving on one piece of the world is very difficult and interesting because we are all together and we will be very difficult to extract resources because we need to run all over the world to find any ore or any particular block. I want to finish this survival and see my cute kids sooner. I am sure they will be the best in the world. But for now, we're just building a fence, after which we're going to build a big house for our family. The most important thing is that we all make it. Because I don't want our beloved children to be born and stop us from building our house. It's better to do it quickly and wait. We're about to finish this fence. At least we'll have complete security on our land and no one gets in or out of this piece. It will be our little world to which only we have access and our children who are not yet born but are in our bellies. We may consider that we have a premium area that is far from the ordinary world on a separate piece. Being pregnant isn't so hard to build. The construction of the evil mob farm was very heavy because I was scared and I was very worried. And as you know, pregnant women shouldn't worry about getting better. When I build this fence, I'm not even worried or tense up. This gives me special pleasure because I am doing as if the most favorite thing in the world and I like it. We're about to start building a house just a little bit longer. Now we are finishing construction and starting to demolish our old house because it interferes with us and takes up a lot of space. We better build one big house in which we will all live together. Now we have a fence and it is very cool. I always dreamed of this. Now we're going to delete our old house. It was great to live in, but we have to move to another house, which will be very nice and very spacious. We're gonna tear this house apart except for the basement. We'll keep him, and maybe we'll make him a better fit in a new house if he fits in this house. Yeah, we've set the stage for sure. We will break everything from the roof over which we tried very hard, ending with chests, workbench, and stove with beds. We can only leave the floor because it is not to redo for so long, so leave for the first time. The most important thing for us is to clear this whole area so that we can build a big house where we can live much more comfortably. It's a good thing we have stone tools that can break this house down faster and get to a new house. It will be very large and two-story where the first floor will be ours and on the second floor will live our children. Just wonder what else can be built. What will be useful for us in the future? Well, about this later, the most important thing is to make a house. Now we begin to build the house. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put up these pillars, which are going to represent a little drawing of the house and of course the boundaries. This will help us in the future construction and will be easier to navigate the house. I've come up with a very big house to build, so get ready friends, you have to work hard to make it. Next, we're going to have to connect all these poles together just to make it look very aesthetic. Here, subscribers, you can see how big our house will be and you can immediately rate it in the comments. It's very big, so we needed a lot of wood and we were able to accumulate it so much thanks to our farm that we built together. Now my task will be to fill all the extra space floor here and we will make the beginning of our house. It will be the basis of our house on which the whole house will be held. It is you who have not seen what will happen next, but about it later. It is necessary to quickly finish the floor itself to quickly go to the next task that does Twilight Sparkle. Now we're going to be building our ground floor posts and connecting them together at the same time. Here we are already making the basis of the first floor and we are coping very quickly. The most important thing is to be always motivated not to get tired of doing all this. I like to build, but I think one of you is definitely very tired. But if you don't, you're doing great and we'll be able to finish the house soon enough. I am not even a little tired and ready to do this house for all eternity. The most important thing is to finish it in time. I love building much more than you, Twilight Sparkle. But I'd like to get this over with because you and I are pregnant and we can't be too hard on ourselves. The main thing is not to give birth before the time because there is very little left to create comfortable conditions. Let's not argue and quietly do this building already. The 
house is very important for us and we do not need to be too distracted. Here is such a simple task. And you argue whether you are tired or not. Here you just need to lift all the posts up to four blocks and connect them with the beams. Nothing more is required of you. Now we will already make the interior as well as the exterior. Next, we will make a beautiful entrance to our big house. Make a small decoration to make it a beautiful entrance to our house. We're going to put a door in the front and we're going to make a beautiful wall of steps on the side so that it looks not just flat, but very beautiful. Also, in the future, you should not forget to decorate this entrance with various small items to give life to this entrance. In the side rooms of our house, everything is done very simply. There is some order between the windows and walls, but it is very beautiful. Now we're going to make windows and they look just super awesome because they alternate like ordinary glass and glass panels. Just wow. Next, we make the wall the same as the entrance and the back wall we just make wood because this is not the front of our house. The second part of our house is made exactly the same as the first, but only mirror. I also really like the design of our windows. It is so unusual. It is a pity that no one can see and we will be the only ones to admire it. Well, then we do everything the same way from the other side. We also make a wall out of steps and fill the back wall with wood because this is the back of our house and no one sees it. So, from here on, we're going to do the second floor now. Here it will be necessary to raise the blocks on five blocks up, not on four, and all this must be connected. That's what I'll do, of course, so I don't get interrupted by my other friends. I mean, they're doing really well. But if we're going to crowd around, there's a chance one of us is going to fall out of this house and crash. Next, we need to extend the lower half of the second floor. You also need to make a small ledge in the size of three blocks because we will have a half-hung house. And this will also add an additional place in our house so that everyone fit and can play in peace. Just on the second floor, I think that we will have our children. Here we will spread them carpets and also make a lot of toys. Super! Okay. I'm about to do the final part of our second floor. It is necessary to carry out the partitions in our house so that it is fully held and not just hanging on the other side. This will strengthen it and it will last forever and ever. I already love very much the size of our house and the beauty. It's really very wonderful and I want to live in it. Now we start the construction of interior and exterior interior on our second floor. Half the walls we do the same as on the ground floor, but we change the design of the windows a little. We will have them slightly different, but very similar to the past and not a little beautiful. So we added one block wide in our house, and we made a wall out of steps. Not of two blocks, but of a whole three. Okay, I'm going to take care of the main part of our second floor. There will be two exits to two terraces, which will be comfortable to spend time at any time of the year. You can look in the distance and look into the void. And you can look at our beautiful sight and watch our animals. The windows here are almost the same as on the ground floor. Only they are longer. Okay, so I'm finishing up the last piece of interior on the second floor. And we're going to have quite a bit to finish this construction. I wonder what we're going to have Fluttershy do next. Because we almost made the whole house in minutes. I want to finish it and arrange the whole interior which here will be exactly a lot, and enough for a few people. Now we will be building a ceiling in our house, as well as a floor. We can say that it is almost a whole house, and we have only to decorate it and arrange the interior of the house, because it is ready. It's great to work well together, because while I'm doing the same floor and ceiling, my friends are already doing other floors, and we are quickly coping with our tasks that we set ourselves. Um, here I am now making the central part of our second floor. Here you just need to put the floor and ceiling and all. We're finally settling into this house and playing nice with our kids. I would like to see them all in this beautiful house in which the interior will be ready. The main thing is that there are enough resources and it was not necessary to go to the next extraction of resources. When we finish this house, I suggest we build some big monument to one of us or our
our children. It's just gonna be a really cool idea because this is our island and we have the right to make monuments here. For example, we will all stand in the four or someone who is the most initiative. Well, about that later. Let's build our house. My task now will be to start making interior in our house. The first thing we will start, of course, with the external part, namely balconies. There we will make beautiful steps and put a torch instead of a lantern so that it is lit at any time of the year. We will do the same with another balcony. Next, we will only need to make light inside the house itself and we can start building the interior. Now we will design our roof. If you look at it this way, it looks like it does not look nice and everything goes wrong. So I propose to make a small decoration of the roof, which does not take much resources from us, but looks very beautiful compared to the current roof. I hope you appreciate my idea and like this roof more than the last one. So now we will begin the construction of the interior on the first floor. We will need a lot of items, so we stock them just. We will make two beds in each part so that we do not crowd in four beds next to each other. Better do as we want. Next to us, we will put workbenches, stoves, as well as chests. On the other hand, we will do the same. And in the center, we will make a small library where you can read books. And now we are finishing our house on the last floor, which will need to make a beautiful interior. Here we will make four beds, which will stand next to each other, so that our children are not cold, as well as we will place as many workbenches and stoves with chests. We will definitely make a children's library so that they read books. And of course, we will put a little later toys that they will play at birth. But now, all of a sudden, after the construction of our house, we opened the creative mode and we definitely decided to build someone a statue. Yet it does not give us any advantage, so we do not use the creative mode for selfish purposes. We decided to make my statue because my friend said I was the most proactive and always come up with ideas. I'm so pleased, and I'll even help build my statue. We're going to do it on separate sides so we don't get confused. We'll draw, of course, with Fluttershy, so you need to very well follow every detail to make it look very beautiful. Very soon we'll begin complex elements such as hair and we need to think carefully before doing it all. I really like this idea and I want to see what the first side will look like. We have already made beautiful legs and now we will continue to build. This statue will be very large, probably even bigger than our farm of evil mobs. It would be really fun if we could build this statue and admire our beloved Fluttershy. We're almost to the torso, we're not far behind. Now will be finally the transition to the main body and immediately we'll begin the problems that are in the hair. It is necessary to place all blocks correctly so that it is very beautiful and nothing goes anywhere. If the hair will have one part on one side and the second on the other, it will be very bad and would like to do normally. So try, Pony. We've gone through all my legs and we're starting to have different pieces of hair and they're at my feet, as you can see. We will have to draw it out so that it is very beautiful and not very bad. I love this idea that my friends have put forward and I'm really glad they picked me. I've always wanted to see what I would look like if I were a statue. That's so cool. Oh, what a difficult part has begun! There is so much hair, and you need to draw each part of them. But it's okay. We're Fluttershy's best friends, and we've already memorized what it looks like. So we'll do it very quickly now and be ready. I love how we do it, and I'm happy with our results. I hope the creative regime doesn't go down before we build this statue. We already have the final part of the body, and here the parts go easier and easier. Anything closer to the face becomes easier because the tips of the hair are difficult to draw from below. And here comes a solid color, which is not so difficult to do. It will be difficult only to make a face, because there are so many different elements that we'll also have to do. We are already slowly moving to the face, because you can see the usual skin under the shirt. What a beautiful Fluttershy we have. I'm glad we decided to make it. At least she's wearing clothes, and the rest of us are just normal. 
because we're so much more comfortable. We don't look any worse, but Fluttershy looks a lot better in clothes than we do. And that's for sure. How do I like my statue? We are almost done. Let's pull up and quickly do it. I want to see the final result of at least the first hand we are doing now. I'm particularly interested in my face, which should be very cool. I will help you build it to convey everything that is on my face. Let's hurry up and get this done. Here we are finally doing the head. You need to do it slowly and with an emphasis on everything that is on the face. Face is very difficult because there are hair and eyes as well as a beautiful bow, which is always in the hair of Fluttershy. All right, well, we're going to do this quick and we're going to go to the next side, which is a lot easier than this side. Ah, uh, so we made the contour of the face and now it will need to be filled. The main thing is not to forget all the most important thing. These are, of course, black eyelashes, turquoise eyes, beautiful white bow, similar to chamomile, as well as hair that develop throughout the face. Fluttershy is very beautiful, and for good reason we chose to build her statue. Let's just finish this part and see what our beloved Fluttershy looks like. A very beautiful face is already appearing, Fluttershy. We have already made half of the face, and we have only the easiest part, because the most difficult we have almost done. From the hardest remained only eyes, for which we will need to try to find a color of all the concrete that is just available. Damn, how well we were given the creative regime. We used it for good and without any profit. This is the beauty of course we have. I really like the way my statue looks, and I suggest that we do the rest of the pieces more quickly, because we make a volume statue, not just this 2D part. You need to make a 3D statue so you can look at me like, but a few dozen times more than I am real. This is very cool. We have completely forgotten about the hands of the statue, and now we will do them. They are quite simple. They're only four blocks wide, and you just have to extend them up to your feet to make it look really nice and make our Fluttershy look like an Enderman. <laughs> All right, now we will quickly do everything and move exactly to the next part of our statue. We are building fast, and I love it. Now, let's get to the next part of our construction. We need to make a side that is very easy. All you have to do is fill it with colors, and there are no complicated elements. Now we will quickly do all this. The main thing is not to forget to fill the same in hand so that everything is super and symmetrical. After that, we will proceed to the back of the statue where there are many complex elements, like the front. Now let's go to the back of our statue. It will be a little lighter than the first, but also a lot of difficult. We do not need to draw much hair here but we need to do it here. But first, we will start with the legs and get to some complex elements. And only from there will go all the complexity. So get ready. You will need to do a very good job to make it all beautiful. Of course, the legs also need to be copied well from what we have, but it will be easier than doing from scratch. Now we will quickly arrange everything and go upstairs. It is quite an easy task, so now we will quickly do it, and I will have a statue. The main thing to do it all before the birth of children, because we can then take away the creative mode. Now we're going to move to the pants! There's nothing complicated, and you just have to fill them all to the end with one color, and there is no nuance. Only very soon will the hair begin, and you need to be attentive and understand when they need to do in order to turn out all aesthetically and very beautiful. Now we have to think. Here and the hair has already started. Only they are very thick here, so you just need to watch when they appear. There are no small details here, and this is very good. So now we will quickly finish all this and move on to the final part of our statue. I love what this statue looks like, and I'd like to see how I look like a statue. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this statue. Here we are, completely on the back of Fluttershy, and we have left here to finish quite a bit. Damn it! The children are coming soon. We have to hurry, because we have very little time left. There is hair, but it is good that they go without permits and very thick. Thanks to this, it is very easy to build a statue here. 
Now I will continue to build my statue, and we have only the head and hands left. Now I will beautifully decorate it, and it will be possible to fill. It's a good thing there's a regular color on the back of your hair, and you don't have to draw anything. This is very cool, so you can relax here a little and just do it quickly. We have one more side to finish, so we don't get too embarrassed. It is too early for us to go to the last part of this statue. We have to finish the hand that we did not have time to do. The same thing should be done on the other side. And now at the end we can begin the final part of our construction, namely the fourth part of Fluttershy. Or rather it's statues. I'm really glad we could build this. That's where we start with the final piece. Let's start with the arm, of course, because it's the lightest thing we have left to do here. Next, we need to finish the head, because it's got some holes left, and we need to decorate it nicely. On the side, too, you have to fill everything completely, and it is very good that only the front part of the head had to be drawn out. I'll have to finish my head and clean up all the holes in it. You should also look at the hands of our statue, because there should be some holes that are very visible, especially from below. They'll need to be closed in blocks, too. The next thing we have to do is make our legs, which are done literally a couple of minutes. And that's it. Our statue will be ready. It's so big, I think we could live there. I'll have to finish my head and clean up all the holes in it. You should also look at the hands of our statue, because there should be some holes that are very visible, especially from below. They'll need to be closed in blocks, too. The next thing we have to do is make our legs, which are done literally a couple of minutes, and that's it. Our statue will be ready. It's so big, I think we could live there. Oh my god! What wonderful children we had! They are so cute and very similar to us. Want to play with them very much and look at them more. They are so much like each of us. I think they're going to be as good friends as we are, and maybe become real ponies who help everyone and save everyone, just like us. Personally, I think they should be as close as we are. We have done so many things in all these days that no one and no construction crew would ever do. We're doing great, and I'm proud of all of you. So our kids have to be like that, and we have to raise them well so that they understand what it's like to work together. They'll have to release their young energy somewhere. Let's show our kids the rooms in our house, and, of course, show them the room they'll be living in for the next few years until we move out of this house. I think that they should really like it, because there is a lot of space for different active games, as well as large beds on which you can jump. Oh my god, how active they are despite the fact that they were just born. They are ready to play and play again because they have enough energy for just a few days. I wish we had the energy to never sleep and just build and build. We would have done a lot more in those 100 days than we do now. But nothing. We are still great. Let's run and build a playground for our children. And then to build additional space in this room is too expensive and very long. And they are already full of energy. Let's hurry up and build because they can run away from our house at this rate and we can't catch them. And on the court, they will have a lot of fun, and they will not be able to escape, because it will be a very exciting playground. Now our children will be able to play in this playground. They like it so much, and I'd like to jump on this court with them now, because I haven't been to one of these in a long time. But I feel like I've grown out of these toys, and I need to do other things that are more important than playing on the playground. We used to play in the playground, and now our kids are playing here. While the kids are playing in the playground, I think we should run to the garden and pick up our crops and feed our children with our bread. Meat and fish are not ready yet, so I want to offer them bread. Now I will collect all the wheat from our garden. I didn't think we had so much wheat in the garden. Most importantly, after we've harvested all the crops from our garden, we need to plant the seeds back in the garden so that the next time someone comes, they can harvest all the wheat. And I'm going to go and check on our animals! I have to feed them, but before I do, I'm going to collect everything they can give us. With cows, I will collect a lot of buckets of milk so that we have enough for all. With sheep, 
I will now collect more wool to make beautiful carpets or even paintings. But now, I will only multiply pigs and chickens to have more. And chickens generally give us eggs that we soon need. And I'm going to go and check on our animals. I have to feed them. But before I do, I'm going to collect everything they can give us. With cows, I will collect a lot of buckets of milk so that we have enough for all. With sheep, I will now collect more wool to make beautiful carpets or even paintings. But now I will only multiply pigs and chickens to have more. And chickens generally give us eggs that we soon need. We've done so much in this episode and it's time to end it. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. Write also your opinion in the comments if you want to learn something. See you soon.